then buy this merch sticker this one right here i'll show you a clear picture if you private message me on any of my social medias i will get one out to you price is 250 in euros that includes postage um but yeah hello welcome back to Al talks this podcast i started three years ago to chronicle me starting stand-up uh, so it, this podcast is a weekly podcast it comes out once a week and this is just a small little introduction video into the podcast so down below in the description of each episode you can go to my link tree and find links to everything connected to me this podcast is available on youtube which you're watching around right now and also on spotify um, but yeah, that is just a small introduction into this podcast and everything that goes along with it. Hello, welcome back to another <coughs> episode of Al Talks. I forgot to mention it in last week's episode, but last week's episode was number 170, which is pretty cool, getting up there in the numbers. Um, I got way too excited to record the episode to mention it, but mention it now but this is episode 171 and I suppose three things to talk about one kind of quick one to get out of the way first um joe rogan is releasing a new special thing this first one like six years or so i actually remember that i'm one of the uh, protect our parks episode on his podcast uh all the like Mark Norman, Irish Shafir and Shane Gillis, they all had specials out and Mark Norman was like, Come on, Rogie, when's your one coming out? He's like, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Um so that'll be that's gonna be a, I think a live app a live streamed one uh podcast special not podcast special, uh comedy special the same as Chappelle's and I think Kevin Hart did one or Chris Rock, I can't remember. So it'll be interesting to see. I think it's the third uh, live streamed comedy special on Netflix. So that is coming out, I think, the 4th of August, I think, or 3rd. I can't really remember. But soon, anyway, in a couple of days. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, stop saying, uh, is uh, one, yeah, two more things I want to talk about. One of them being. Seinfeld, uh, the TV series, not uh, Seinfeld, the comedian. I forget his name. What, what's his bloody name? What's Seinfeld's name? <laughs> Seinfeld is his surname, but what's the comedian's name? No one actually goes by his name. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Remember now before I got to Google. But yeah, Jerry Seinfeld, who starred in his own uh, comedy sitcom, which is very, very popular. I had seen episodes of Seinfeld before, but not, I haven't like fully watched it through. I'm still not fully through it because it's like a lot of seasons in it. I think it's like nine seasons, about 20 episode season. I'm think on season five or six. But what I want to talk about is it's just, uh, whoever wrote on that show was very very good it was like it was it's brilliant writing it's as a sitcom as a comedy sitcom it, it just hits all the you know all the right spots for it's just very very good and very very funny and i thoroughly enjoy it you know everyone who you know it's a basically seinfeld is the like, kind of I suppose premise the story of basically Seinfeld is that Jerry Seinfeld plays himself as a comedian and he has these group of friends that he hinges around with his next door neighbour Kramer Elaine who used to date and his best friend George Costanza and then there's other characters in it and there's a lot of like celebrity uh, cameos and stuff like that, which is very cool. And it, it like it's really really <clears throat> well written. The people who act in are very very good. Like I mean, Kramer has these kind of 
antics that he does and stuff and it's just very very good I, i'm really really enjoying watching it like i probably should have watched it sooner the whole way through but i don't know why i kind of held back on it to be honest it was a bit um yeah definitely it's something i should have watched way way sooner but it's you know the I know that that Seinfeld's been married in controversy in the last while with like well not in the last while but stuff kept come out about the guy who played Kramer and stuff like that and Jerry Seinfeld did say like you know if he was to do kind of a bring back Seinfeld he would definitely have Kramer on even if the executives don't want that but I don't think it'll ever happen unfortunately but it was you know it's a very very good series uh, it's one of the reasons Seinfeld became a huge comedian and very very rich from it too because like you know it's still on Netflix available now even though it's I don't know 20 30 years that it was last uh, on television so the, you know he's probably getting a lot of royalty money and he's very very rich one cool thing I did notice though in Jerry's apartment on his fridge in the series there is a poster of a Porsche and in real life Jerry Seinfeld is a Porsche enthusiast actually this is how much of a Porsche enthusiast he is and how well known he became when Porsche stopped pr the production of their air-cooled like their last air-cooled 911 uh, Porsche they send it out to Jerry Seinfeld. I think he might have bought it, but yeah, he got the last one off the production line. I don't think they're air cooled anymore. I don't think. Let me just check that quickly. Jerry Seinfeld getting. Okay, so this happened quite a while ago, actually. It was only six when this happened. This happened on March 30th, 1998. And I think they said it was a month before Seinfeld finished. Come on, Internet. Internet. Let's fill some dead air with some humming. No, better not, because the humming might be an actual song and I might get in trouble with uh, YouTube with copyright, which has happened before. Oh my God, come on, load up. But yeah, Jerry Seinfeld became very, very rich. Uh, Okay, it was a, like a month and a half before the final episode of Seinfeld hit, and he got the very last one. Jerry Seinfeld seems to have quite a collection of 9-11s. He has a career, Oris. Well, he used to, he sold it. An RCR as well, cool. And he had a 918 Spider. That was, uh, was like a hybrid Porsche. Looked really, really cool. It was very futuristic. But yeah, so I, I thought that was a cool little tidbit. Now, uh, finishing up the episode on the final thing, which is the new Deadpool versus. Wolverine movie which I recently saw in the cinema like two, two or three days ago and all I have to say is wow I haven't been excited for a Marvel movie in a long time probably uh, 
since like Infinity War and End Times. Like that was probably Civil War was kind of a letdown. I kind of hoped there'd be a lot more characters in it. And then when whatever Spider Man was with Doctor Strange, the multiverse one, this had like this had a lot more multiverse kind of in this Deadpool vs. Wolverine movie, a lot more multiverse characters which they teased in the trailer, but there was a couple of surprises as well. And obviously I'm not going to spoil anything, but it was, it was very, very good. Like I said, the, it totally lived up to the hype. Deadpool is, you know, as a, as a kind of a, he's a, you know, anti-hero sort of person. And it's, you know, it's very, there's a lot of cursing. There's, it's very violent and it's just, it also kind of brings forward stuff like they brought the TVA into it, which was in like Loki season one and two. You know the times vary in entirety. You see them the first trail, like the first thing in the trailer, like um, Deadpool celebrating his birthday and the TVA knocking his door, and you know he says a very funny line. And it's, it's to be honest, like a lot of the stuff that it it was a gr- like. The, as a movie, it was great because it's very, very funny. There's a lot of jokes in it that maybe laugh out loud in the cinema, which I know normally don't really, movies don't really make me, unless they're very, very funny, which Deadpool was. And it was also great to see some of the, like I said, the cameo appearances. And I'll, there was one in particular that I, will, I did genuinely in the cinema, I was like, what? <laughs> because the, the other day they revealed that Robert, I think San Diego Comic Con that Robert Downey Jr. will be playing a Doctor Doom variant of because in the comic books uh, an Iron Man becomes Doctor Doom in like a multiverse thing. So they recently revealed that I think he's going to be in two movies. So that is also interesting. So going forward, I think it's going to be like Doom Wars is the next big Marvel movie, and then there's going to be the Secret War stuff, which is leading into comic book stuff, which is very interesting. So, uh, like, a lot of interesting stuff coming for the MCU, which, like I said, great, great movie. If you're anyway into the MCU or stuff like that, I highly recommend you go and watch it, because it is great. But, like I said, those are the kind of three things I want to talk about. Uh, Joe Rogan's new special coming out soon. Seinfeld is great. Watch it if you're a fan of comedy. And also watch Deadpool if you're a fan of comedy in the MCU. Um, but that's about it. In a couple of weeks, I'm going up to see ACDC for the first time ever. So there'll be Heavy Metal Memories vlog, Heavy Metal Memories episode after I go to see them. I have never seen them live before, so this will be interesting. But yeah, that is the end of the episode. Uh, as per usual, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. All the links down below. And some another thing I forgot to in the last episode. I don't think. Oh yes, you can buy this merch sticker. This one right here. I'll show you a clearer picture. If you private message me on any of my social medias, I will get one out to you. Prices two fifty in euros. That includes postage. Um, but yeah, that is all for this week's episode. Bye bye.